I just bought the Lego Batman tumbler and today I'm gonna redesign it and turn it into a tank. But there's a huge problem. This thing weighs like six pounds and I have to make it drive through this Lego wall to capture the Joker. I feel like it needed a plot line, so I just decided to kind of throw that in. Wasn't that sneaky? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> this video is sponsored by World of Tanks. All right, so the first thing we need to do is see how long it takes to build. That's a lot of pieces. <laughs> So this set took me around four hours to complete, but it is absolutely amazing. I want to give huge shout out to the designers at Lego who designed this set because they did an amazing job. But to make it even more accurate, we want to make it drive and we want to put it on top of a tank. The first thing we need to do is take the wheels off. All right, as you can see like this, it looks really cool still. What we're gonna do is we're going to build a frame for the bottom of this out of Technic bricks, and then we're gonna make it remote controlled. So we have 16 Lego Power Functions motors, a bunch of Lego battery boxes, metal Lego axles for the treads, and we have some controllers and IR receivers. There's one thing building this set taught me, it's that you should always start with a good, hefty Technic frame. So now we just gotta build this up, and make it a lot stronger. Now we have this, so we can attach motors in bulk. So I want four at the back on each side and two in the front. We're gonna actually make these into super motors, kind of like we did in the world's strongest L motor video. We have two of these gears like this. We're gonna run an axle through, a steel axle. That way it won't get stripped like that. We're not just gonna attach this into one of these. We're gonna make four of these go around it, grab two of these little pieces like this. Then we should be able to snap that there, put the gear on top of this, this in the middle, and then do the same thing on this side. So now you can see these both run this gear, and these both run that gear too. These metal axles are strong, bro. You can use regular axles. You can use regular axles for this. I'm just using a metal one because I want it to be stronger. Oh yeah, that's perfect. And then we should be able to just attach this right here, and that will spin that wheel, attach another one over on this side, and on this side, and on the other side. That should work. That was pretty simple. Fish. So now let's build the other motor. This video is sponsored by World of Tanks. World of Tanks is an open world tank game for PC players that puts you at the controls of one of 600 historically accurate tanks so that you can aim, shoot, dodge, forget to dodge, oh. and strategize on how to beat the competition and win the game. With over 100 million players, World of Tanks is free to play and it's honestly super fun. While the game can be played from a more strategic approach, it's also just really fun to roll around and hide in the bushes. And they have 40 different maps to play in, so you can find yourself anywhere from rolling through a hot sandy desert, to sneaking up on an enemy tank in a forest, to a cold icy winter wasteland. Speaking of tanks, they have different types of tanks, like light, medium, and heavy tanks, artillery tanks, destroyers. So you can choose your favorite tank to play, earn experience to upgrade, and level up against the competition. If you want to get in on the action, you can download World of Tanks using the first link in the description, and if you use the code TANKMANIA during the registration, you'll get for free 7 days premium account, 250,000 credits, the premium tank Excelsior tier 5, and 3 rental tanks for 10 battles each, including the Tiger 131 tier 6, Cromwell B tier 6, and the T3485M tier 6. Genuinely, this is a super fun game. I was literally just playing it with my friend like a half hour ago. Big thank you to World of Tanks for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the build. All right, so we built these motors up. As you can see, the next step, we need to attach them to this to put the tank on top, and then we need to test if it works. The first thing we're gonna do is just attach this to here. So now we have a mega motor on one side. <laughs> nice. Dude, this is awesome. Okay, this is actually getting really pretty heavy. Let's actually lock these together and just stick these here. So this is called an IR receiver. It allows us to be able to control the motors and stuff with one of these IR remotes. It has two sides, red and blue. And this one also has two sides, red and blue. So what we do is we hook this to the battery box, which powers it, and then we can have two different channels on red and on blue. So if we turn the battery box on and I hit the red, you can see that one spins. If I hit blue, that one spins. So now we can control two different sides of the tank and also two different types of the turrets. We can turn the turret and also fire the turret. We just have to get another one of these and put it on a separate channel. We need these to go on red, these to go on blue, there. And then both of these go on to battery boxes. So we got bam, forward, backwards, forward, 
backwards. All right, so now we need to make the motors on the front of this, and then we can attach that to this battery box and hopefully get a test going. But there's one problem with that because I ordered from an Amazon seller to get more of these treads and they completely sent me the wrong thing. So now I'm waiting on an order to come in, hopefully last minute so we can get this thing done. <laughs> that was a dramatic reenactment. Let's build up the ones over here. All right, now we got two of these. Now, we just have to hook these up. Let's actually test this on the floor to see if it'll actually run. We can just reuse the wheels from the Batmobile. Hey, yo, it's working. All right, so we know that the mechanism works. Now all we have to do is bulk it up, put the Batmobile on it, hope that it still works, get the treads, and then design some sort of shooting mechanism for the turret. Does it still work with the weight of the Batmobile on it? Yes, it does. We don't have both treads yet, but we do have this one. So we need to create a tension system on this side with the motors up where my thumbs are and some spring-loaded ones down at the bottom to actually make this thing go. So we need to put a sprocket down here to give it that bowing shape and that'll tension it. All right, look at that guys, that... Yeah. All right, we got four of these springy things and I'm thinking if we springy thingy it right here, this, this, it gives it a little bit of spring, but not enough to like, ruin it. Does this work? Yes, it does. It's a little wobbly though, so we'll have to fix those connections. All right, guys, here's the deal. The treads come in about five or six hours, so I need to create a working turret mechanism within that time, and I have no idea how to. I was thinking we could shoot like maybe these balls. So over on this side, we need to build something over on this side that will actually make the balls fire. Okay, so we got the treads and we have a working shooting mechanism. Let me show you how it works. <laughs> Basically these two pieces right here are from the Lego EV3 set and I kind of had to make a pusher puller with the servo motor. So this part is my design back here. I did try really hard to make something, but then all the gears stopped turning, but it's pretty cool. You load in the balls and then push forward, That one messed up. <laughs> I'm proud of it. We'll mount this on top of the tank. Speaking of the tank, we have the final pieces we need. This, this, this. Sorry, I got a little mad there. Let's assemble these into a long line and we can attach it to the tank. We're in the final stages here, we're almost done. Look at that, guys. Wow, that, that's too many. I ordered too many. But <laughs> So we got to build what we built on this side on the other side. And then we can finally mount the turret to the Batmobile and then mount the Batmobile to this, hook it all together, and test it. How does this work? We have a major issue. The Batmobile's too heavy which means if we don't drop some weight, this thing is not going to go, it's not going to turn. The issue is we can only have one of these battery boxes attached to one of these receivers. And we have four motors on each receiver, which means there's nowhere we can intercept to add more power at this point. So each motor is only getting a fourth of the power of one battery box. So we need to drop as much weight from this as possible without changing the design. As it is, it barely turns. So our weight at the moment is 3.6 pounds. We get rid of all these and all those. Uh, okay, so we don't need this. This is a one passenger tank. Can't even tell. Now, we need to fit these in here somehow and make a turret. That ought to fix all our problems. All right, let's see how much weight we dropped with the turret and everything. <laughs> Weighs the exact same. <laughs> Come on, we, lit, we got rid of this? I mean, we added this, but... Okay, so I couldn't drop any more weight because there was none to drop, so it only works on hardwood floor. But that's okay because this thing turned out really cool, it looks super cool, and it steers, it turns, it shoots, it just won't work on all terrain. So let's go test it and see if we can knock down that wall. <laughs> Oh, 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 
We have a giant wall. We got the Joker back behind it because honestly, we need an enemy. Otherwise, this is just boring. All right, so as you can see, forward backwards. The goal here is to knock down this wall. We can turn. Let's get this one first. And then we can shoot that one. Hey, that was... <laughs> the cat's just like, what the heck is happening right now? Oh, you turn. Alright, here we go. The final wall. Let's see, let's see if we can get through this. I don't know if we can or not. <laughs> it just smashed straight down, man. That was actually so funny. Over it. Uh, uh, uh. Hey. Got it. All terrain, baby. <laughs> for, for a second. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's a disaster. All right, uh, I mean, we knocked the wall down. I think for 12 hours of work, this thing turned out pretty good. Obviously, the Batmobile adds a lot to it because the LEGO designers actually made that. I pretty much just did, just did the part that doesn't work, but the working part's pretty cool. It has one small flaw that it only works on hardwood floor. I couldn't get the torque to work. I could only get it to work if it's on hardwood floor. Otherwise, it barely moves at all. Forward, backwards. <laughs> Guys, huge thanks to World of Tanks for sponsoring this video. Check out the first link in the description. Make sure you use the code TANKMANIA when you register to get all the good stuff. Check out this video right here because that's when we build LEGO gummy weapons. And check out this video right here because that's one YouTube recommends specifically for you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. <laughs>